Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back once again. We're going to be discussing another movie review today, and today we are finally going to be discussing Ghostbusters: The Frozen Empire. So, I know I'm a little late to the party, and let me go ahead and say this: I have seen only a couple of reviews for this, so I really, and it was a long while ago anyway. So again, I don't really remember hearing anything good or bad about this film. Um, Watch it on Netflix again. It wasn't on my eagerly oh i want to watch this because i felt like the last film was just there even though it was good to a certain degree now that i think about it again i did a review on i don't remember doing the review but overall this entire movie i'm gonna get into how i feel about this so the entirety of the movie we see the remainder of the spanglers somehow go from where they were at a farmhouse going into new york they're running the Ghostbusters between Paul Rudd's character, um, Spangler's daughter, his grandkids, and they're, you know, they took over with help of, um, I believe it was Ernie Hudson that helped him get the, um, the firehouse, if I'm not mistaken, which, again, was kind of interesting to see because, I guess, of whatever he's been doing, especially in paranormal research, and we see, I will say this, we see a couple cool spirits in here, we see the blob again, we see this, um, dragon-esque type of uh, ghost and the entirety of the story is we have a character that is Nadine that sells to of course um you know uh, Ray and gives him uh this unknown orb and then they figure out it is containing a massive spirit demon whatever we don't know exactly what it is because they don't really specify except for when it does get released which again with phoebe's being dumb that we see where it goes and grabs its horns puts it on and then it just unleashes like a frozen hell so to speak now during the entirety of this we see where phoebe seems to be the only one that is actually knowing what to do with this technology that still knows what to do she's pretty much trying to lead the team and then when they go through disaster the mayor who is a major prick he just kind of benches her without having her parents really say anything and then finally we see where she gets upset because she's been benched and then she meets this unknown ghost by the name of melody who apparently burned herself and she is still the same way that she's been for however many years and then we later see that she is using her because of this ghost is kind of talking to her through the spiritual realm saying if you can get her to do this i can open up the spiritual world and you can go see your family and they kind of just give this which I'm going to get into later on in the video of what it seemed like in this. So she tries to, I guess, strike up this friendship with a ghost, even though it's kind of shown that, it, you know, you're not supposed to do that because, quote-unquote, ghosts are the enemy. And then we see her brother, who really is not in this movie. I will say that for, you know, Finn Wolfman. He wasn't really in this movie, which, again, I'm not really liking his character too much because, again, he just seems like he's the dumb brother that's like, oh, hey, how you doing? You know, like just there, and he's too caught up on some other girl that is trying to be a Ghostbuster that's just like, oh, hey, I'm pretty, I'm this, I'm that. It's like, why are you a Ghostbuster to begin with? It just doesn't really make sense. And we see where we do get nostalgia to a certain degree with the original characters. You know, we get like, you know, Bill Murray, Andy Potts, Ernie Hudson, um, of course, you know, Dan Aykroyd. But again, it just felt like that they were there, that they were just kind of helping the story along to keep the you know the the original audience entertained while other characters we didn't care about we really did not care about these characters the character nadim i cannot stand i don't even like the actor because again he's just annoying i don't really care for him he basically was a a loser who was the descendant of a you know protector of this demon and then he slowly learned how to use his powers after they revealed oh hey you're a fire master god and then of course we had you know Patton oswald in here which again horrible actor and he was just there for story driven purposes same thing with nadim they were just there for story driven purposes it was not really needed for them to have these people in this movie other than for story driven same thing with phoebe it was like the phoebe show her own mother was 
was pretty much a background character. Her brother was a background character. Paul Rudd was kind of a background character. Everyone was a background character. It felt like we're like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna push y'all back and we're gonna push Phoebe forward. Let her have the shine. This is her movie. Y'all just sit there and shut up. It's pretty much what it felt like. And again, I will say this: the CGI was cool to a certain degree with seeing the different kind of ghosts and then seeing the ice demon thing and then. The way that they kind of explained the demon or the spirit was like, could have been a lot better for an explanation. I think what's sad is that the explanation they gave, like in Blade Trinity, for Drake, aka Dracula, was better than this. And I'm sitting there and I'm going, okay, what the heck? And what's really sad, guys, is I'm looking up different reviews on here to think, am I the only one that thinks this movie's boring? That I'm the only one that thinks this movie is terrible? And no, I wasn't. There's people even saying this looked like a Nickelodeon movie. And again, I have to tend to agree. It felt like that the ones that were that made the um the ghost not ghost the um uh, goosebumps movies was associated with this. Now I'm not entirely sure if they were, but again, it's like okay. And then some of the jokes they had was either again depending on what age you are you're either going to think okay i thought this was a kids movie or you know teen slash adult movie some of the jokes fell hard harder than heck and it was just flat and they didn't make no sense and it was stupid but some of them weren't that bad but again it just felt like that this movie was just there and it was just like hey here's a story here you go here's here's the original characters they're going to help these characters that you don't like and they're going to be there so again it just kind of felt like to me the only thing that was really cool was the very ending trying to fight these ghosts but again there wasn't very many ghosts there was just the one that keeps going over all over the place possessing different types of objects and then the actual demon uh, ice demon itself that was going up against our characters and they fight them off and it seemed like phoebe had the only chance against them before melody actually helped and realized what she did and it also just kind of seemed like that they were pushing an agenda between melody and phoebe again guys it was there it seemed like yeah they were friends but it seemed like they were trying to push something more there which again was not needed it was not needed it wouldn't make sense it did not make sense it wouldn't have to make sense again most of this movie did not make sense it was like, it was just boring. It was severely boring. Some of the acting was cringe. Some of the comments was cringe. A lot of this was like, okay, why was this made? Who was this made for? Because clearly, I, I mean, again, I, I'm not the biggest Ghostbusters fan. But this is horrible. I mean, I feel like that the last few movies we've gotten from Ghostbusters, the one in 2016, the all-female cast, that was a flop. Then they tried to bring Afterlife back. It wasn't that bad, but this one was better to a certain degree for story-wise. Other than just giving us the characters we wanted back at the end of the movie, and they were more infiltrated in this movie, but it made it feel like, yeah, of course, we know they're older. Yes, we know they're this. Yes, we know we're, they're that. But at the same time, they still did something to a certain degree. But again, oh, let's leave it up to Phoebe. Let's leave it up to Phoebe. She's smart. She knows what she's doing when clearly she made the whole mess of thing. She's the one that released the spirit. She's the one that met the one melody. She's the one that did this. And she's the one that, of course, was causing issues that kept screwing up every time she turned around. Even though, granted, the times when she actually did the job of being a Ghostbuster out of not only saving herself, but her comrades, she gets in trouble for it. And... Again, there's two sides of the coin on that, which again, yes, it was her fault, but at the same time, she was still doing what she thought was best to protect her friends, but it's kind of, you know, your perspective on things. So, I don't know. I really don't know how to feel about this movie. I'm not, like, oh, angry to the top of my lungs like I would be with a Star Wars movie or something, or a Marvel movie. It's just, I feel like that this movie is just there. Like, you could watch it. And then forget about it. Because that's how I felt with the last movie. I feel like I could, I've only saw the, the last movie one time. And put it on the shelf, so to speak. So I feel like with this one, you can definitely put it on the shelf and pretty much forget about it. Again, guys, is this worth a watch? I don't know. I, I highly don't know. Um, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, give it a try. Um, you may like it. If you've never seen any of the Ghostbusters, I recommend you watch the first two skip the 16 version because it has nothing to do with the others and then go into afterlife and then watch frozen empire that's what i highly recommend 
Um, this movie just was not for me. I just, I really, you know, I even watched this with my wife and she was even, you know, at the very end of the movie was saying, thank God, it's, you know, it's over because she was bored throughout the entirety of the movie as well. So I don't know what to say, guys. The movie to me, not that good. Um, it wouldn't shock me if we get a third one and then they're just going to keep going with these characters that we really don't care about. Pretty much going to be probably like the Star Wars of the Ghostbusters, I guess, so, so, so to speak, for the sequels. I don't know what to say. Um, what do you guys think about it? Let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do you guys feel the same about this movie? If so, fine. If not, that's fine too. Um, but either way, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you as always on the next one.